I have a lot of anger inside of me. What's good, y'all? Master Sir here. I have caught up to Bahamut Genesis Virgin Soul, whatever you want to call it. Yes, I have. Should I get no Bahamut Virgin Soul? That's the long name, right? I have caught up to it. I actually caught up to it yesterday, but I didn't feel like making a video yesterday because for some reason. I just didn't feel like it. Anyway, there was, there was nothing to stop me from making a video. I just didn't. Anyways, that was this, I, that, this episode came out today anyway, so I just decided to just do it all now. And thoughts on the show, I mean, let's be 100. I already watched the first season, and that was the shit. So as far as expectations, I always just consider this one's going to be the shit or better. If I had to be 100, I like this season better. I really do. Because one of the whole thing with Nina, I mean, not that following Father Roll around wasn't off the chain, but following Nina's story around was a little bit easier. Because once she incorporates the old characters anyways, and her master was Father Roll, so you know his ass was showing up. So I didn't expect the fucker to be locked up, but <laughs> but yeah. Good to see his monkey ass. <laughs> Except not literally, like they did at the end of episode one, season one. But anyways, man. The whole thing up to this point, it's, it's really the best part about it be better. Let me just say this right quick before I get the second theme song for this show. That song is off the chart. Like that's that song right there. I need I need to know who made that shit. I need a full version. Motherfucking link. Leave that link in the description. Let me. Hit you. I just searched on YouTube, right? But help me out, y'all. Hit me. I need that song. Anyways, what was I talking about? Uh. I think what's really helpful right now for this show is the fact that they made this one 24 episodes. You know, last one was 12. This this feels like we got we, we using it. Shut the hell up. But using this time, the 24 episodes, to be able to build a story more. Sometimes I admit it feels slow. I'm not saying season one felt rushed. It just felt like this season had a lot more opportunities, you know, to build their story a lot better. I don't know. Season one was like three years ago, so maybe I don't remember it that well. Just being honest, but that is how I feel. Like you get up to this point right now, even though this episode eighteen was kind of just a build up from last week, but Nina, you know, his name is Charles, right? Like Shari, how do I pronounce that fool's name? The King, that guy. I mean, basically they're in love, really. I I, I don't think he's playing it honestly. I really don't. Cut. Now, when he first said the whole thing in the last episode about I was thinking this, I was doing this, my convictions and all that stuff, but then I met you. When I first said that, I was like, really, motherfucker? Really, nigga? But I don't know. I don't know. Because he doesn't have to do this shit. Like, the first time when he went out and that stuff, I mean, eh, maybe he just felt like going outside. When he kept doing that disguise thing, and especially in that episode where he took the shit off and just stopped giving a shit, because that was the whole thing. Like he didn't give a shit about him being king. You know what I'm saying? He was he was out there and open. He didn't give a fuck. It's st- it was stuff like that that made me like this guy might legit love Nina. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Nina screamed out, "I love you," anyways, and it would've been off the chain. She would got a guy's voice just, sing- just screaming back, which you know it was just Father Earl, So I don't know if that's gonna work out. I mean, that's your ship. That's your ship. But <laughs> anyways, Afro nigga. The whole thing with this episode, him was still just building up. And can, can, can I just be one hundred? Can I just be one hundred? As I, as I was, stop being a bitch. <laughs> stop being a bitch. Because <laughs> first of all, I was laughing my ass off when you took that first L. Because Nina could have turned into a dragon. I know it was tragic and whatever. But you know why I was? Because straight up, Nina, this is the king came through. And Nina started having feelings for the king. And that's why she couldn't be turned into a dragon. Because of you. She was attracted to you. But she found another nigga. Like, that shit was funny. But I'm, I'm talking about before everybody started getting killed. The first time when he tried to kiss her, she was like, back the fuck up. He was like, why you can't turn into a dragon? I don't know, maybe because I'm in love. The fuck? Cause he gave that same face when she when in this episode when they was like, "Hey, why the fuck are you turned to a dragon now?" Like he, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess you know, somebody loved me. I mean, I'm in love. The same shit. He was still like, you "Gotta be fucking kidding." Cause that's not just a, that's a that's a blow to the pride, y'all. That's, that's straight up. What the fuck? You give a fuck about somebody else? That's why you don't give a really, bitch. And she's just gonna be like, "Yeah." <laughs> and, and 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 the worst part of it. 
and you and the worst part of it, and why you can't be mad about it, because he was beefing with the king at the time, him and the demons versus the king and the humans, basically. And you couldn't get Nina to help you out because she fell in love with the guy you trying to fight. That is just some shit. C come on, come on. I'm not that cruel, right? Somebody else at least found some humor in all that. Like, the king came through. Your trump card. And just fucked it all up. <laughs> Kept, I'm just being real. Now, let's be real. Up to this point beforehand, if I would have done this, this review 17 times before this video, I probably would have said fuck Shadows or whatever his name is. I probably would have said fuck that dude like 18 times by now. But, oh man. Because they're, they're hyping him up for real if you look at that opening. And I don't know how this show's going to go when it comes to that. Because it's, it's only going to go down like one or three ways. Because at the end of the episode, Fuckboy, whatever his name was, is calling on some demon dude to talk about Kill the Red Dragon. Which kind of makes me think, like, does everybody already know that? Did, did, did he already know Nina was the Red Dragon when they first met? I'm talking about the king now. Did he already know Nina was the Red Dragon the first time they met? met? I want to say no. But this is a slick, rick looking motherfucker we're talking about right now. I mean, he knows everything at this point. I mean, Nina's disguise is really mediocre to anybody who's actually watching the show. I'm a demon. But, I'm just saying. Maybe. Probably no, but you can't put it past this motherfucker. But anyways, it's one of those things like, the king probably not gonna, he's probably not gonna let the whole affection towards Nina thing stop him from doing what he gotta do to be 100 about it. But, there you got this other guy who's going to come in and do one or two things with the whole thing he's already trying to kill Nina. He's either A, we're going to fuck it all up for the king, or B, he's going to do something and put himself over the king as his most evil guy. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those type of stories. Like the king's been the villain this whole time, but there's an entity behind him that's, you know, been fought. You, 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 anybody seen Drifters? You know Drifters? They been like Nomenaga and... uh. What was that dude's name? The guy in the red? Like, he was behind the dude in the red. He was the guy in charge, but he was really the guy that you, everybody had to look out for. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to Sh the king and this guy, I know I'm using, I'm not using names right now. I don't know anybody's name. I'm sorry if this is confusing. But when it comes to that, that might be the, that might be how this turns out. I don't know. Or he gets caught and the king just be like, you just tried to kill my bitch? <laughs> but anyways, man. So far, I have to say I enjoyed this. I'm enjoying the season as I I don't remember enjoying the first season as much as I'm enjoying this season. That's just the that's just the basis of it, really. So yeah, let's keep going. As far as L, Ruga, the bread, that whole thing when Nina was helping John Diok, I have to say it like that because that's how I said it in the fate reviews. John Diok, when she was helping her out, that shit was heartwarming, honestly. Like, that whole part of them trying to get out of jail, meet back up with Favreau and Kaiser, that's probably my favorite part of the series so far. That whole transition in those episodes, going to the, her back to her hometown, trying to get to the land of God, save Moore, like, all that. And that whole John trying to get her son back, that's probably my favorite part of the series so far, really. So, yeah. Had to be, because honestly, I was watching this in sections. The second that part started, I just watched like 10 episodes at once. But anyway, not 10 episodes, but you know what I mean. Uh, did I see the new theme song was off the chain? Bro, that new theme song is off the chain. Did I say that? I think I did. Uh, that's basically it. As I said, stop being a bitch. <laughs> King, you got to make up your mind. Nina's obviously made up her mind. She loves this dude, okay? She's not going to switch sides or nothing, but, you know, if it's up to her, he's going to make it out at the end. So, yeah. Well, I mean, now I'm at the point where I'm losing space on my phone, so I'm going to have to wrap this video up anyways. As far as episode 18 review, really, this is just one of those episodes we're here just to get to something else. Hopefully you enjoyed it, right? <laughs> as far as the whole series, it has been amazing, and it's off the chain, and Nina's upskirt shots is amazing. There you have it. That has been the show. Dragons and upskirt. I'm playing. All right. Damn. <laughs> Can't tell a joke on YouTube no more. Anyways. That fucking... Yo, I ain't even gonna talk about that. I'm just gonna cut some out. <laughs> That's it. I'm done for real now.
All right, you watch the video, leave my comment. I don't know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out. And if you haven't figured it out by now, yes, Jade, I'm caught up.